Hello. <laughs> Hello, sorry, I'm just trying to get comfy. <laughs> Mikey was just saying, whenever we start a vlog, he feels like he's on a TV show. I feel like just... I'm presenting this morning and I just thought, if I'm sat, I just feel a lot more normal. Like, this is how I would... Shoulders back. <laughs> this is how I would... Well, this isn't how I would sit so like this. <laughs> this is how we would normally chat. So how we would feel like... Chat. Today we are actually judging the cottage. We've done quite a lot of it behind the scenes just because I know in the past I've like reshuffled things and it's probably been really boring, my like thought process of doing it, I don't know. You think I'm boring? I am. And that's fine. Sometimes boring is not bad. Boring is good. <laughs> and that doesn't, you know, wreck it around. Yeah, and that doesn't make me bad. Really bad. Anyway. Um, yeah, it me. Yeah, we've like rejudged a few areas in the house and thought we'd kind of just walk you through and talk about them, why we've done those things. We're on such a mission this year with with decluttering and yeah. reducing and I think we're almost there with having cleared everything out. Yeah, we've done like the loft, the, the cabinets, cabinets in the TV. kitchen, cabinets by the TV. The, the dressing room. Dressing room. We haven't done the cupboard under the stairs. And we haven't done our bedroom. And we haven't done our bedroom. But um, ever, uh, and the bathroom. But I think we did that really recently. Yeah. We're quite good at like staying up to date with yeah. things. It's just, I think sometimes you need to set yourself a time frame. Yeah. And we set ourselves, we mentioned this in the last vlog, but we set ourselves until the end of March. Yeah. To, kind to of try and like... just like get rid of things or recycle give to charity the things that we just don't love anymore yeah. and not buying as much. We're really yeah. trying to reduce what we buy this year for the planet and for saving money and yeah. also for m our mental well-being. I think yeah. we went through a period of whenever something was in sa on sale that we liked, yeah, you just whenever I saw someone with something that I really loved, I'd be like, oh, that's so great, let's buy that. that, even yeah. though it might not necessarily be our style. So yeah. I think this year we're yeah definitely on a mission to... Yeah, I think we've just realised that we just really don't need all the stuff we <laughs> have and we don't <laughs> use all the stuff we have. So making more conscious choices of like getting rid of things we don't use. Yeah. I know we've said this a million times, but I just think it's going to make a massive difference. Well, it already is making a massive yeah, difference. Yeah, 100%. So. I also know I watch a lot of vloggers and follow a lot of content creators, and I know there's a stigma with like influencers where it's constantly about showing things and stuff, and I really don't want to be that, and I know I am a part of that problem. Mm -hmm. But You are. Thank <laughs> you, well. <laughs> but I I do love shopping, I do love buying things that, that I love, and I think that's kind of where the focus should be, not yeah. on just like mass showing things, but yeah, kind of more considered. So yeah, I, we've been talking about these grand plans, but we are going to try and reduce kind of showing stuff to yeah. being like limited and... yeah also not feeling like we need to keep stuff because obviously I wouldn't expect anyone watching these videos to buy everything that we buy yeah. but the intention is that it might inspire a couple of you to get some yeah. nice things and treat yourselves so yeah we're going to try and limit it a bit but hopefully still inspire a bit. <laughs> um, what else is new? I feel like... What is new? House updates? Maybe yeah. we should give a bit of an update? Yeah I mean it's difficult because we're it's all like thoughts. Isn't yeah, it? So everything, is... everything is a thought rather than a definite. But yeah. we are trying to think of ways that we can maybe get something else whilst keeping the cottage. Yeah, which we do think will be possible. I just want to caveat this with things really could have changed by the time you're watching this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, because it will be probably like four to five weeks later than filming. Yeah. And obviously things change really quickly. We bought the cottage within that time period, it took, yeah, four, it took weeks four weeks from yeah. our offer to moving in. Um, things can change really quickly, so just, yeah, we're not sure what will happen. But our plan, I think, as of now, which is really exciting, is yeah. that we're going to keep the cottage. And yeah. for anyone who doesn't know, it's a small two-bedroom terraced house. It's very, like, humble. It's not, it's yeah. like on a road between Bristol and Bath, very simple and we're hoping that we can buy a, a really small, smaller than this, um, place in a city that we yeah. would love. So that's kind of the intention. Yeah. And 
yeah, hoping that that property will be something that we can maybe Airbnb or we can kind of rent out to people who want to and host people eventually. But in the meantime, I think kind of like renovate and yeah. live that kind of split life. And instead, I guess sticking to what we've always said, which is like we love small homes and the character and the cosy feeling. Yeah. And instead of buying one house that is the value of this house and that other small home. Yeah. Like combined, just having another small home. Because we have been so torn between if you've been here for a while, you will have seen. You will have seen. We the are so torn between city, country, city, country, city, yeah. country. So we thought maybe it's quite a good opportunity to have the best of both. Yeah, and we're also so we keep saying this. We're so spoiled with our house because yeah, we've got really lovely walks here. There's yeah. some really nice pubs and stuff nearby. We're really like convenient for Bristol, but and we're Bath, also yeah. really convenient for cities. Like yeah, Bristol and with Bath. everything we love doing. Yeah, so. we have like gyms nearby, cinemas, yeah. food shop. Not that we love the gym. Um, we have been going, but we don't love it. It's convenient for the gym, <laughs> which is a necessary evil. Yeah, so, and for your work. <laughs> yeah, so it's convenient for everything. We have been spoiled, because a part of us was thinking, like, we could get, like, a really nice country, like, yeah. a bigger country home in the Cotswolds or yeah. somewhere different, but... I mean, the only things we can't do here are walk to anything. Yeah. We've got a little corner shop, but other than that, there's nothing that we could just walk to. We walk to the pub. Uh, the pub. But yeah. that, we don't go to the pub, it's not like we're something not that we do all the yeah. time, so if we could walk to a I few drink. shops or a nice restaurant or <laughs> like anything like that, it would be really nice. I think that's why we're always like, oh, it'd be really nice to live in the city. Yeah, um, so have a bit of both. So we'll see. That's our kind of so update nice. for now, nothing fun. Yeah. Right, should we get on with the video Let's after that video, long we're update? Doing it again. <laughs> Hello from me. <laughs> I'm gonna probably be a bit more backstage this one because, as we all know, I'm not the interiors guru. I'm not a guru. Well, you're more than I am. Um, so this lamp, I actually really love it. I like it here as well, but it's going upstairs. If you would have seen the yeah. last few videos, and recently we kind of, I don't know if decluttered is the right word for this area, but we just have like shuffled things around a little bit. Yeah. And oh, we <laughs> put this marble base lamp here, yeah. which is, I'll show you close up in a second, but it's from Loaf. And I just really love the soft light this lets off. Like yeah, it's, it's really nice. Really nice for when you're like preparing food here. Um, yeah, it's just, I think it works really well. I can also hide the cable behind, I'll do that in a minute, but behind the dropping board. Yeah, that's our handy hiding which is cables board. Now, which, yeah, we just roll everything up and just tuck it there and then I put that in front of it so it doesn't slip around. <laughs> um, and then just, again, like a practical thing, we have some placemats, which I literally just stack there so that when we have breakfast and lunch and stuff we can just pull them out chopping board which i use all the time and then that was such a good investment that chopping board because at the time when we bought it we were like is this a really expensive chopping i mean it isn't cheap, the cheap hot chopping board but yeah. we've used it every day since yeah. we bought it yeah so i love that it has you worked can't really well. go wrong with just like a solid slab of wood slab of wood just thought knocking that yeah do not knock that the dogs will go mental um i have a like a marble coaster here from John Lewis which I just use for like oil or something or yeah. if I'm cooking with wine and you just want to put it down to stop getting the red red ring of death <laughs> um and then here in the utensil jar just have basically a mix of everything we use like the stainless steel um utensils and wooden spoons basically and that's it like a really simple corner but I think Having just like stripped it back a little bit and again like muting the palette for spring I think was a really good idea for us and for our yeah. home because I don't know if you'll remember but before we had just for only maybe three months or so we had a like terracotta lamp oh, yeah. with a fluted shade which I love from anthropology yeah. and we had our red placemats from yeah. Toast which they were there probably for getting on for six months. Yeah, did love them. Um, we still do I still love, love them. Yeah, we, we've kept them all, obviously, but... Felt I'd, more like autumnal. Yeah, I do like, personally, for... And I do this every year, for spring, I really love 
things feeling much more neutral, much more tonal. Um, because I find it easier to bring greenery into that palette. Yeah, I know and what you mean. in the next, well, probably the next video or two that you'll be watching when I'm recovered from surgery and can start filming again, we'll be bringing all of our like spring foliage out and kind of those green linens and more like buttery yellows and those kind of colours and for me because I, I am quite like neutral and minimal I guess I like just having like a more refined palette with one kind of pop of colour and I feel like the greenery with the red makes me think of Christmas. Yeah. So yeah that's that corner. Should we move on to the living room? Yes. Let's do it. We are now in the living room. We've actually just been listening to a record, which I don't know if I've shown you this, but... This is like Toby's obsession. I know, it's just a record player. <laughs> Magic. I'll stop it because we'll get copyrighted. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we've, we've been keeping the record player here because to be honest we've actually been using it quite a lot a lot really, yeah like for dinners and for like special meals and it feel it does feel quite special yeah it does i think it feels like that. you're not just like asking spotify to play something random and just yeah. listening to whatever it feels like you're i mean we literally have one record so we yeah. need to and probably get ours. some more it's my yeah, i borrowed it from my dad so, yeah, we, so we need to get a few of our own but it's always just it just feels like a nice thing to do it makes we normally have it on at dinner and it makes it just feel a bit nicer yeah and it's nice because this closes so it looks just like really simple and yeah i wanted it to feel quite like calming there so really happy with this and we have decided that we really, I've mentioned this before in, on the vlogs, like in the last couple of weeks, but we're going to get a smaller dining table. So we're kind of on the hump for that now. And we'll probably actually save this for if we do get a second, yeah. like holiday home or Airbnb or something. Yeah, it's really handy. Because um, it's so handy and we've decluttered the house so much that we have loads of extra storage like, yeah. ready and we've still got more spaces to declutter. So Yeah, because when we got that, we were like, oh, it's great because we'll have more cupboards to fill, which so, they are filled. I don't know if you can see, but this is like down here at the bottom, you probably can't see that, but yeah. there's like protein powder, which we don't really use. And then up here, there's some bowls and pots. That's yeah. kind of all. And then my cameras are in one side. That's pretty yeah, much it. Yeah, but we've got the space now elsewhere to, yeah, to put it away. Move it. So, yeah, kept it really simple. We've obviously got the pair of loaf lamps on here. It's my kids' anniversary card. Um, and then just here, I've popped a frame, which I think I got from HomeSense. Yeah, I think you did get Ages that from HomeSense. Ago. I've popped it just on this really lovely gold stand, which I'll show you close up. Um, and then just some like terracotta, um, like ceramics, which I thought were really nice. And again, a good kind of opportunity to add like a stem in the spring, just like a simple flower or something, whether it's like cut from the garden or yeah, just whatever it is. I just thought that's quite a nice moment to do that. And then we've got the diffuser just tucked behind there as well, but really simple, um, nothing too fussy. Obviously, again, like I've said, this will probably change a bit over the coming months i'm not sure when but it won't stay like this probably in six months if you come back then it might not look like this but <laughs> for now we're pretty happy with that yeah <laughs> so quite a few changes actually to this corner of the room so we've moved this lamp here which i'm obsessed with it's from lights and lamps yeah it's so nice that so one. nice really love it Basically, I did an interview for them and they sent it as like a thank you for doing that. So, yeah, that's very kind of them. And yeah, I really love it. It's solid. It's like yeah, a it's a heavy weight, lamp. Um, which is really nice. And they actually stock them now in John Lewis. I know that one has been out of stock, but I will okay. leave a link down below if it is there. Um, and then on this space, we actually just had a bit of a thought of putting these here, which if you've watched our vlogs before, we got from a, what was the shop called? I can't remember, but it's an antique shop in Bath. Yeah, I can't remember. They're called Rusty Bullet Vases. Rusty Bullet, that sounds rude, I don't know why. <laughs> it sounds like an old sex toy. Yeah. Um, and so the bigger one was 51 99 and the smaller one I think was around 20. Um, I've got the price on, so. 
take that one off. But um, yeah, we thought they would actually look really nice. Just yeah, just like really simple. Think? That way or that way? Maybe that way. Yeah. What do you reckon? They look nice both ways. Maybe that way. Or like that. Yeah, I think like that. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. But <laughs> Yeah, just like something really simple, and this is kind of like the styling that I'm really loving right now. It's just more minimal, more intentional, um, kind of like done with purpose. Like, I love, I love, I love, I love. Yeah. There's nothing on it. You don't it. need to have like loads of extra. Yeah, you don't need to have, and it's the same with like lamps and artwork and all of these things, even like candles. Mm. I think you buy something sometimes because it's cheaper or because it's, because it's on sale or all of these things and you actually don't really love it. No. I don't know, do you think? Yeah, I, I agree. So yeah, that's kind of something we're carrying with us this year. Buy less, but buy better. Yeah. Um, and then this corner as well, we added this chair, which we have had in the study. Yeah. We've had to have two, but I actually think, I don't know your thoughts on this, Mikey, but thinking about getting some risable study chairs, yeah, so just like more practical. really simple, like leather ones maybe, um, that can go up and down because at the moment these are quite low for mm. the desk because yeah. our desk is a bit higher so I think that would be a better way of like actually using the space more because obviously we do a lot of like filming and a lot of editing and stuff and just admin emails design work but I actually do a lot of that sat downstairs yeah just because I think I find it more comfortable so yeah we're thinking that would be a good option so yeah I put that here and then have put this loaf um floor lamp there which works perfectly and much better than the one that was there before yeah i can't remember what it was it was a bit too low yeah it was too low whenever you sat on the chair it would kind of be like in your head whereas, yeah as you can see lights you perfectly <laughs> it's not gonna hit me um so that's great and then i've just put a stack of books and then a candle on the side there as well um that's kind of all the changes that this room has yeah had, we're like really. slowly de Cluttering, cluttering trying to make everything feel very like simple and just yeah. show the things that we like absolutely love. Yeah, exactly. I really love this corner though. I'm really yeah, it's these, looking good. How it's like coming together, which is nice. <laughs> we can't get the angle right for this room, but what I'll do is I'll overlay some different shots so you can see. But I, again, have rejudged the poof Ottoman footstool in here. And so this is from Anthropology. for anyone wondering if it's available again, we will leave it linked. But I've just stacked some of my favourite coffee table books here. So I've got Create from Ali Heath, The White Company, and then two architect books, which I really love. And then I've added some birch branches <laughs> here, which I picked up at Dalesford, and then this vase and this from and the tray actually are all from Neptune from years ago, probably I would say five years ago. And then um, there's a diffuser here as well, and just to throw to kind of like anchor the space. And also the reason I put this throw here was I wanted something that. Ziggy. Ziggy's barking. I think it's you hitting that probably. No. I wanted something that kind of like neutralised the cooler colour of the stripe in the footstool and this kind of warmer tone I think does that nicely. And then I've just got this little lamp which I thought would be quite nice to bring up like in the evenings when you're getting yeah. ready. And this lamp is so good. Yeah, it's Amazon. We'll leave it linked down below but you can get two for 40 or one I think is £22. Excuse me, but I'm going to buy another set of two, I think I mentioned on another video, just to use it for like garden um, tables and stuff when you have people over and you just want like some evening light. What are you eating, Stormy? What are you doing? I think she just got a bit of dirt off of a shoe or something and she's just eating it. Dogs are gross sometimes. <laughs> they really are. You're happy, Good, happy with yourself. Proud. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um... Yeah, and that's it really, just really simple and... Just looks a lot less cluttered. Yeah. Because it felt like there was a lot on there before. Whereas there wasn't now... really, there was less. I know, but it, it was again just kind of like a bit more thrown on, I think. 
And here Mikey is. I'm back. I'm allowed <laughs> back from behind the camera. <laughs> Just to film the outro. Just literally to say bye. Oh. Oh. Done. Done. Done for the day. But that's our house. That's our that's our clutter-free house. There's no clutter in our house whatsoever. That's, that's a big lie, but <laughs> Um, yeah, those are a few of the kind of styling updates we've done over the last couple of weeks and hopefully it'll be just getting more and more and more and we're going to definitely do like a house tour very soon. So yes. yeah, that will be coming. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you. And what should everyone do? Like, comment, subscribe. Because we want you to. <laughs> Um, because you want to come back for more. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Yes. Bye. Bye. <laughs>